This is a game changer for sport in New South Wales. It will be the best live sport experience in Australia. It puts goosebumps on the back of your neck. Let's bring on the new stadium. Well, we've come a long way from what was once the Cumberland Oval to the Parramatta Stadium to the new Western Sydney Stadium. This will be a world-class sports facility. The stadium had to be built. The people of Western Sydney deserve it. And we're going to make New South Wales the premier state for events. We want to be able to bring the spectators as close as we possibly can. We want to be able to hear what they're saying. We want to be able to almost feel the hits. What we've done is try to take the best of what we've seen across the world, utilise the wonderful skill of an international architectural firm like Populous and build it into a really nice, tight 30,000 seat stadium. So it was really important at the start of the job that the consultants were uh, housed together. Landlease made it very clear from the beginning this is the strategy we needed to undertake. That collaboration right from the start was a key feature of the success of this. There were certain architectural challenges that we need to deal with. The steel design has been done so it all fits on a standard lorry so there's no road closures. We had about 4,500 tonnes of steel. There's 2,600 tonnes in the roof itself. Really just assembled on site like a Lego kit. Steel was processed and fabricated by people of Western Sydney within 15 kilometres from the stadium and constructed by local people. It couldn't be a better story, really. The majority of the stadium is uh, from Western Sydney workers, yes. We hope it becomes a steel icon. It's very much that there's been a huge focus on the steel and the concrete of the stadium. Uh, instead of wrapping it in the facade or hiding it away, we really want to put it on show. It is. Australian steel fabricated in Western Sydney, built in Parramatta, and it looks fantastic. The fact that we've involved the community along the whole construction process is unique. We work very close with Infrastructure New South Wales to engage with the community. So multiple stakeholder meetings, multiple opportunities for people to have their say. We were conscious that there was legacy there and there was a perception of the, of the community about what we were taking away from them. It's been a part of our lives for a very long time. I think just coming here as a family and being able to bring the kids here because it means so much to my husband. There's plenty of good memories here. When they realise what we have brought back, they'll be more than happy and the fan day experience will be absolutely fantastic. The amount of amenity that's on offer, the viewing positions, it's world class and people just want to come back. You walk in here and you just think you're in this mini coliseum. It's the design, the fact that it's been built for the fans. Go the Eels! It doesn't matter whether it's rugby league or football, music or community events, this is a stadium that is available to everyone. It's a genuine venue for both men and women's sport. The surrounding precinct has playgrounds, cafes, exercise areas, so it's not just about sport. There are riverside terraces to the west, the urban jungle at the front on O'Connell Street. I think it really does embed itself well into the environment. Bangwest Stadium is now the steepest stadium in Australia. 34 degrees slope of the of the seating bowl. That brings a level of atmosphere that you don't see in any Australian stadium so far. We've got an amazing array of food and beverage opportunities for people to, to engage with. All the keg rooms behind the bars are as close as they possibly get, so there's ice and cold beers for everyone. You're just going to have a wonderful experience where you'll be able to hear and nearly reach out and smell the, the field of play. I think that's going to be really exciting. The players will, will feel like they're surrounded by people and have that big adrenaline rush every time they run into the field. And Al Baxter, you little Oh, I'd love to play in the stadium. I, I, a couple of times I've caught myself walking out of the players' tunnel and just getting that bit of a buzz that you did when walking out there. Look, it'll be fantastic. This is all about putting the fan first. It's about making sure the experience here is one that every fan remembers and an experience that keeps bringing them back.